Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great diesel motorhome bargain for Parkway RV Center. Folks, springtime, beautiful day out here in, the, in Georgia, and just got in this great, inexpensive diesel motorhome. This is a 1999 National Trade Winds model number 7372. It's a 36 and a half foot diesel motorhome with only 50,000 miles. It's got one power slide out with the awning topper. I'm gonna tell you folks, it's hard to find a nice 50,000 mile gas burner for what you can buy this diesel for. Uh, it's got that big 300 horsepower Caterpillar turbo diesel, which has got a class leading 860 pound feet of torque, almost 200 more than the Cummins. All fiberglass exterior. It's got the six speed Allison transmission it's got the Generac 6.6 .6 liter or 6.6 .6 kW propane generator. This unit's about $150,000 new. Really nice condition. Now it's got the typical, you know, fading of the stripes and a little bit of cracking like you see on pretty much any 99 model. But other than that, folks, this is a nice motorhome. It's got the Alcoa wheels instead of the wheel covers. It's got the Freightliner air assisted chassis. Got air brakes. I mean, it's a bus, no doubt about it. Uh, full four season storage. The back looks great. Of course, I got the motor running right now. Rear roof access ladder. Got the overlapping fiberglass cap on the back. That's a sign of a well-built RV because it eliminates straight edges where most leak problems occur. Now, folks, this is a 99 model. It's not a 2016. It does, like I said, have a little bit of fading on the stripes. You know, a little, little peeling right here. Nothing out of the ordinary for this year model motorhome, but, you know, I don't, I don't want any surprises any more than you do. Glass is perfect. I hadn't even washed it yet. It's still got the... Uh, bugs on the front we brought this one in from it came out of south carolina we drove it 250 miles in did a great job that freightliner chassis is got a really smooth ride to it a great turning radius and another good thing about a freightliner chassis is you can always get service and parts for it uh you know freightliners compared to other brands pretty much any any diesel mechanic can work on a freightliner chassis that's like uh, a, a diesel mechanic that can't work on a Freightliner is kind of like an automotive mechanic that can't work on a Ford. It's just not out there, folks. If they're any kind of mechanic, this is what they learn to work on. That's a Freightliner. That's why it's one of the most popular choices for RV chassis. And like I said, it's got the Alcoa wheels, a 22 and a half inch. It's got the big Guard awning that we make sure is perfect condition. It's got the window awnings. Again, we make sure they're in perfect condition. This unit just came in. We got to do a couple little things to it on the inside, folks. But I think when you look what's out there for this price range, compare it to the quality of this one and the mileage and the amenities, I think you're going to see there's no comparison. And of course, you got the uh, Trade Winds Parrot. You know, these are built by National RV, which only builds luxury RVs. They don't have a bargain price model they're normally very very expensive so this is a really high build quality and a well insulated rv for under thirty five thousand dollars let's take a look inside now i've got a step out of adjustment i've got to fix which we do that now folks when you buy an rv from parkway rv center we go through a complete extensive checklist we check everything out on this rv folks uh down to every last little light bulb and of course our sell your sales people person would be more than happy to send you a copy of our standard checklist. We really go through these things well. Um, we run everything for several hours. We have certified RV techs and it takes us several days to check a big diesel out but when you pick it up you're not going to have any complaints I promise you. Uh, now folks I did have the generator running but it's a propane generator. It was just it was almost out of propane when I started and it ran out right before I started shooting the video, so I don't have the lights on or anything. But I do give you my personal guarantee the generator runs perfectly. I had the, I had the roof airs on. I had lights on. It looked great in here, and I wish I had went ahead and shot it while, while it was running. But 
you know, just one of those things. It's got 50,364 miles, 247 hours on the generator. Uh, it's got the uh, air suspension. You can raise and lower it. It's got the six-speed Allison, the power gear hydraulic leveling jacks. It's got the exhaust brake. Forager backup camera system that works great. It's got a built-in 10 disc CD changer. I've got it running right now. There's no check engine lights. That red light you're seeing is just the parking brake because you have to have the parking brake on unless you want to roll on one of these diesels. Got the exhaust fans, got TV. It's got a manual point satellite. Now, got a pinnacle positioner by Weingard. Of course, folks, I, you know, I know quite a bit about RVs, but one thing I never got into was the satellites because my TV in my 2008 Winnebago has been on. In the last four or so years that I've owned it's been on maybe two, maybe three times the whole time we've had it because I don't go camping to watch TV. So I'm not really up to date on the satellites, but it does have the wine guard position finder. It does have a manual dish on the roof. I don't know how to really operate them or if they're, if they're obsolete or still current, I don't know, but it's included with it. So I'm including it with it, with the sale. Uh, posing sofas, which is really neat. I like this because you've got a great conversation area, plus your front seat swivel around for additional seating. Uh, both of these are leather, leather captain's chairs, real ceramic tile in the kitchen area, real Corian countertops, and again, I apologize, folks, it's dark, but my generator ran out of fuel, so it's kind of hard for them to run when the gas tank's empty. <laughs> of course, don't worry, we're going we're gonna to put propane in it when we, before we sell it, before we check it. Uh, Really nice Corian countertops. It's got the nice fluorescent lighting. I've got to put a, which I've got them in the office. I just haven't put them in yet. A grill for that air conditioner returned. Uh, it's got a table and chairs, coffee maker, nice light fixtures up here. Uh, books and manuals are right here. They're included. Got the carpeted headliner, which helps really reduce road noise and road vibrations and it's got a sound deadening material built in so that even helps even better got a nice side by side refrigerator freezer and it's and it does work we guarantee everything to work got the ice maker which we'll check that it's got a built-in inverter it's got a thermostatic controlled fantastic vent fan. It's got dual ducted airs that both work ice cold. Uh, of course, you said you got the hard interface inverter. Monitor panel. I know it's a little dark in here, folks, and I apologize again for that. Really nice step walkthrough bathroom. Uh, you've got a glassed in shower with a skylight. No, no leak damage or anything like that around the slide or the skylight. Corian top back here in the bathroom. Medicine cabinet, built-in hair dryer. I don't know how well you can see this private water closet, but it does have a porcelain RV toilet. It's got the washer and dryer combo, so you don't have to worry about uh, installing one of those. We'll make sure that works. Good deep hanging closet right here. Back here in the back, got a sliding privacy door so you can separate the bedroom and bathroom off from each other. Queen Island bed. Look at this, folks. It's still got the original factory bedding and it looks like new. That's Somebody's taking care of this motorhome. And, you know, you got all these nice mirrors everywhere, these nice solid dark uh, solid wood cabinets that look great. Crown molding. Um, you know, TVs in it. All the original TVs and everything, which... Plenty of, plenty of storage. It's a nice motorhome, folks, for the money. I mean, yeah, you can go out and spend seventy grand, eighty thousand dollars, and probably get you one a few years newer, a little bit bigger motor. Maybe have an extra slide, but you know you're going to spend over twice as much, and that motorhome that you're spending seventy grand on is not going to be able to do anything that this thirty-four nine one can't do. 
you know and of course that 300 horsepower engine folks with 860 pound feet of torque which a lot of people don't realize this you measure a diesel more by the torque than the horsepower you measure a gas burner by the horsepower uh, like for an example I can take a newer Ford with a 362 horse uh, uh, V10 line it up next to this one at a red light and this this right here is just going to it's just going to take off and leave that Ford even though the Ford's got more horsepower it's got almost 400 pound feet of torque less than this diesel so this diesel will get up and go it's going to tow pretty much whatever you want to put behind it and if you want to run 80 85 miles an hour all day long this one can do it without breaking a sweat if you want to run that fast you know I run mine about 65 to 70 as most people do but you do have if you've got a lead foot this one's got enough power to keep you satisfied uh, and that torque is really a big plus on these folks because like I said that's your hill climbing power that's your towing power your get up and go power is that torque really nice RV folks the dash looks great uh, we're going to make sure everything works and like I said my sales people will be more than happy to send you a list of our standard checkouts what we check out on the one so you can see what you're getting I also have a diesel mechanic every time we sell one he drives them make sure there's no issues with the running and driving of it um, I mean I really go through these things it takes us several days and we don't get started on until we sell them because we have so many RVs in stock and so many going out I mean it's we sell 500 plus a year because of our prices and when you look what's out there for 349 with a slide and 50,000 miles and compare it to this trade wind you're going to see that this is a heck of a deal for somebody you know the longevity of a diesel is well 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 documented you see these transfer trucks with these freight liner chassis and the caterpillar diesels with eight nine hundred thousand miles on them on the original motor towing 60 70 thousand pounds all the time and you know there's not that much difference between what the chassis and motor that truck's got to what this motorhome has this is the 3126 b caterpillar same thing they put in a lot of the diesel trucks so folks you know if you want to save some money maybe this is your first purchase in a motorhome you're not sure if you're going to like it it's a great way to do it because it's lost the worst of its depreciation in other words you take care of this motorhome if you buy it you take care of it and let's just say you use it for a year and decide you know maybe RVing's not for me or maybe I want something smaller or something bigger or you needs change or you want a different type of motorhome the good thing about it is folks you can take this motorhome this time next year and maybe even the year after put it on the internet for sale for just what I have on it right now which is 349 and sell it again now this thing cost hundred fifty thousand dollars new and the people who originally bought it new lost enough on it to buy this one as soon as they drove it off the lot and because it's lost the worst of the depreciation you're not going to have any risk as far as buying it and if you want to resell it a year or two later because this thing is uh, it's going to be worth 34.9 for the next year or two it's not going to depreciate like a like a new rowing wheel I mean you imagine spending 150 grand on something use only using it for 50,000 miles and here it is for under 35,000 I don't know about you, but if I sit there and thought about that after I just spent that kind of money on you, and it'd make me sick. And that's that's why it doesn't pay to buy a new motorhome. It just uh, the depreciation is just so bad. And the good thing about this, it's going to be worth this for the next couple of years. So, you know, you can turn around, sell it if you don't like it, or sell it if you want something different. You know, it's it's not going to be a problem selling this. You know, I about sold out of diesel motorhomes here uh, last week or two, and we're finally starting to get some more in, and and they're selling as quick as I can put them online. There's a heck of a market right now for diesel motorhomes, especially in this price range. And I'm going to tell you, if you're in the market for a Class A diesel for under $50,000, I've got a great selection and more arriving every single day. You know, we've got the lowest prices on the internet, folks. That's why we've been in business for almost half a century. We sell 500 plus a year all over the country, all over Canada. We even ship them overseas to England, Italy, Australia, and other places because of our prices. You know, buyers fly in every week to drive RVs home, save money. We deliver RVs all over the country for you just pay whatever it costs us to bring them to you. 
we have financing available with approved credit I can get you a 3% interest rate on this with approved credit you can't even buy this thing brand new at over hundred fifty thousand dollars and get a 3% rate but folks that's how we sell RVs we sell them for less than anybody else on the internet we sell more of them we advertise them uh, we're a certified power seller on eBay we've got hundreds of positive feedbacks from people buying used RVs you can't buy those. You have to, you have to earn them. People can't leave uh, feedback unless they buy something from you on eBay, and that's where this motorhome's going. Plus, about twenty to twenty-five other websites. Uh, I, you can look at my Google Plus listing. I've got dozens of customer testimonials about how well they were treated here, and what kind of buys they got. And I'm talking about customers that live. Some of them live thousands of miles away. You know, I had a guy here from Oregon uh, two days ago buying a motorhome you know he flew down from Oregon drove it back because he said uh, you know the prices over there compared to what we sell them for is about 10 to we're about 10 to 15 grand less you know and we just don't save you money on price folks we go beyond that we don't have any extra fees you know you go to these other RV dealerships that that have higher priced motorhomes you know this motorhome and other RV dealerships probably going to be around 45 grand or higher they're going to then they're going to hit you up with a dock fee, three hundred ninety-five dollars, eight hundred ninety-five dollar prep fee, uh, customer fee of three or four hundred dollars, a two hundred dollar tag, a temporary tag fee, hundred fifty dollar title fee, and, and you know where I'm getting with this, folks. They come up with different names for them every year, but all these fees these other dealers charge are a hundred percent dealer profit. And at Parkway RV Center, we have no extra fees. So on top of saving you thousands on the price, we don't hit you up with two or three grand in fees like these other guys do. Another thing that we don't do that other dealers do is we don't make any money on financing. And this is how it works. When you go to an RV dealership and finance an RV, used or new, it doesn't matter. Most of you are going to do that. That's just a fact of life. These RV dealers have learned to exploit you by marking interest rates up and costing you a lot more on your RV payments just because they want to make money on you. Uh, for example, they can get you done at 3% just like we can, but they're going to mark it up to 5, 5.5, 5 6%. You know, when you figure 2 or 3% on $35,000, that's a pretty big difference in the payment. And you, you multiply that by over time over the payments, you're talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars probably thousands of dollars in higher RV payments that you're paying because that RV dealer marked the interest rates up well folks at 3% interest rate obviously we're not making any money on financing we just offer financing as a courtesy to our customers not as a way to make money and our buyers love it that way because they know they're getting the lowest price out there they're getting a nice clean RV that's going to be checked out top to bottom by our certified RV techs with many years of experience. They're not going to have to deal with all the big dealer games and the pressure, the commission salespeople. You know, Parkway RV Center, our salespeople are salary based only. Uh, they don't get any incentive to sell. In other words, if you, if you spent a month looking at this RV, which I doubt we're going to keep it that long, and decided, you know, you know, you've talked to a salesperson that entire month and decided, you know, I'm going to wait another year or two well guess what my guy's not going to care because he gets paid the same whether you buy the motor home or don't buy it this way he works for you instead of a commission salesperson who only works for themselves you see a commission salesperson only gets paid when they sell something they don't get paid to sit around answer your questions and and show you around the lot if you're not ready to buy they only get paid when they sell something so that means if they spend several hours with you and you don't, and they, you don't buy nothing from them they get mad, they bring on the sales pressure, they either make you mad or make you buy one of the two. And uh, nobody likes those high pressure sales games and gimmicks and fake sales and, and all that stuff these other dealers try to do to get their commission salespeople paid. Plus, that's a reason why other dealers have such higher prices than we do. Reason why is because they have to cover 25% uh, for salesman's commission that's right folks the average rv salesperson gets 25 percent of the gross vehicle profit that means that dealer has to mark their rvs up 25 percent more to cover the salesman's pay 
other words the dealership's not paying the salesperson you are by paying more for your RV that also means that the salesperson is always going to try to take you to the RV that has the highest markup so they can get the most commission whether it's the one you want or not they're going to try to talk you into it uh, they're going to want to steal your trade-in because every dollar under market value that they allow you for your trade-in well they get paid commission on that too a lot of people don't know that but they do get paid on how far uh, under market value that they can trade you out of your trade-in it's just a gimmick game folks it's all a money game and these other guys these big corporate dealers these franchise dealers they they're going to get you for every red cent that they can get out of you and then some and that's not how you buy RVs, folks. We've been doing this for 48 years. We've sold tens of thousands of motorhomes, campers, and fifth wheels all over the U.S., Canada. And we do that by treating people right, saving them a lot of money, and giving them a stress-free buying experience. I mean, you know, my guys, like I said, no commission salespeople, so you're not paying that 25% premium. And just, you don't have to deal with all the BS. Give us a call. Our phone number is 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays are 423-605-6747. Our website's parkwayrvcenter.com. I've got over 150 used RVs in stock, folks. A bunch of diesel motorhomes. And you can't beat our prices. And um, I don't have everything posted online. So keep that in mind when you're looking. And what I always recommend people to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. This way you get an email reminder every time I post a video. Uh, keep an eye on our website, parkwayrvcenter.com, and call. Talk to my salespeople, folks. They're not commissioned, so you don't have to worry about the sales pressure. Get to know them. Let them get to know you, what you're looking for, uh, what amenities you want, uh, what size, what motor. It's The more information they have, the better chance they have of putting you in your perfect RV and saving you a lot of money. So if you'll talk to them, get to know them a little bit, you know, you might be surprised. We may have your RV on the lot and you don't even know it because it's not posted online yet. And they can tell you about it, send you pictures, sell it to you before it even gets posted online. Or we get about 20 RVs in a week. So if we don't have it this week, we may have it in a week or two. And since the salesperson already has your information, knows exactly what you're looking for, you're going to be the first one they call and give you a chance to buy it before it gets posted online. Because once this motorhome hits the internet on eBay and Trader, RV Trader, and all the other websites I use, it's going to be gone in a few days. Because right now, everybody's looking for cheap diesels uh, with a good size motor like this 300 with 860 pound-feet of torque with amenities, the washer and dryer, the ceramic tile, the Corian countertops, the low mileage, the side-by-side -side refrigerator. They're, that's what people are looking for right now in this price range, and they're hard to find. So this one's going to sell quick. So if this video is more than 72 hours old, do not be surprised if this unit's already got a deposit on it. That's why I always call you know, you're welcome to email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com, but always call and, uh, you know, get faster response. You're more than welcome to come look at this RV. Uh, I only ask that you call and make an appointment with one of my salespeople. The reason we're starting to do that is we get over 200 sales calls a day. We average one about every three to three and a half minutes. So my guys, I've got four salespeople. And if I hire more salespeople, that means I have more overhead because I pay them salary. I have to go up on my prices, and nobody wants that. So I've got four salespeople answering 200-plus calls a day, handling over 100 emails a day. Plus, usually we have two or three dozen walk-in customers. So if you're a serious buyer and you really want this motorhome, please give us a day or two notice, at least 48 hours, and set up a time with your salesperson to come in this way, they're not shuffling from customer to customer, from phone to customer. They can dedicate their time to give you personal service and have the unit. We can already have the unit generator running, plugged into power, air on if it's hot. So you can spend your time really going over the motorhome and seeing everything for yourself. And it's a lot, it, it's just so much easier to do that with an appointment. Now, folks, you know, like I said, you wouldn't go to a doctor or a dentist without an appointment. I mean, a lot of them will work you in just like we will, but you're going to have to wait. And that's probably, it's going to be the same thing here. 
just like a doctor or dentist office. You show up with that an appointment, they can fit you in, we can we can fit you in. We're not gonna turn anybody away. But if you really wanna take a serious hard look at one, if you'll call, get an appointment, you'll be glad you did. And my salesman would be glad you did too because they can actually spend a little time with you without going back and forth between customers and phone calls and emails and all that stuff. Um, and if you just want to come look, folks, you don't have to have an appointment if you just want to come browse. Uh, you know, you can just pull into the lot. We're open Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, Saturday, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. I've got all my RVs unlocked, price on the windshield. You can park anywhere you want, look at as many as you want. And if you have any questions, poke your head in the sales office. And as soon as one of my people get freed up, they'll talk to you. Uh, you know, it's kind of a self-service lot. We we're, we're, we operate a lot different than other RV dealerships. But like I said, if you want personal one-on-one -on -one treatment, call, make an appointment, and we'll be more than happy to accommodate and help you out. So give us a call, 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Nationwide delivery is available. If you want to fly in, we'll pick you up for free at the Chattanooga, Tennessee Airport. We sell tow dollies. If you want to drive your own car and tow it back, we sell them at cost. We can sell you a new tow dolly for what you're going to spend on a used one on Craigslist. And we only sell, we don't retail those. We only sell them to people who buy RVs from us. Thank you for watching my video. I hope to see y'all soon here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.